Blessed greetings. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Welcome to another edition of our LNG White devotional series for Sabbath, May 7th, 2022. Threefold Miracle Reveals Sabbath Sacredness. I will be reading once again from the devotional To Be Like Jesus by Ellen G. White. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 16, verse 35, And the children of Israel ate manna forty years, until they came to an inhabited land. They ate manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan. Again, that's from Exodus 16, verse 35, from the New King James Version of the Bible. Every week during their long sojourn in the wilderness, the Israelites witnessed a threefold miracle designed to impress their minds with the sacredness of the Sabbath. A double quantity of manna fell on the sixth day, none on the seventh, and the portion needed for the Sabbath was preserved sweet and pure. When, if any were kept over at any time, it became unfit for use. In the circumstances connected with the giving of the manna, we have conclusive evidence that the Sabbath was not instituted, as many claim, when the law was given at Sinai. Before the Israelites came to Sinai, they understood the Sabbath to be obligatory upon them. And being obliged to gather every Friday a double portion of manna in preparation for the Sabbath, when none would fall, the sacred nature of the day of rest was continually impressed upon them. And when some of the people went out on the Sabbath to gather manna, the Lord asked, How long refuse ye to keep my commandments and my laws? The children of Israel did eat manna 40 years until they came to a a land inhabited. They did eat manna until they came unto the borders of the land of Canaan. For 40 years, they were daily reminded by this miraculous provision of God's unfailing care and tender love. In the words of the psalmist, God gave them of the corn of heaven. Man did eat angels food from Psalm 78, verses 24 and 25. That is, food provided for them by the angels. Sustained by the corn of heaven, they were daily taught that, having God's promise, they were as secure from want as if surrounded by fields of waving grain on the fertile plains of Canaan. From Patriarchs and Prophets, pages 296 and 297. Threefold Miracle Reveals Sabbath Sacredness. I've just read from the devotional To Be Like Jesus by Ellen G. White. For Sabbath, Saturday, May 7th, 2022. I pray that you will have a blessed Sabbath. I pray that you will spend personal time with the Lord today, as you should every day. But today is the day that he has set aside for us to spend quality time with him to put the cares of the world aside. So please, may the Lord bless you and keep you on this Holy Sabbath day. And may you be a blessing to others as well. Take care and stay safe.